name is Marissa Merritt. And I'm Ebony Hampton. And, and we're, we're with Bellarmine University's Broadcasting. After a whole semester of watching each other's videos, we were quick to realize that we knew nothing about each other. So for our final video, we decided to get a little personal and learn a little bit about ourselves. We talk about our major, our future, our past, and a little bit about our normal day. First, we're going to begin with me. Let's go. 22 years ago, on October 2nd, 1996, I came into this world making lots of noise and I haven't stopped since. The past 22 years, I've lived in Louisville and I have zero plans on leaving. My immediate family includes my dad, Dwayne, my mom, Jerilyn, my twin sisters, Kaylee, who looks more like me, and Kelsey, who looks nothing like either of us. Before coming to Bellarmine, I attended Mercy Academy, which is an all-girls high school. The four years at Mercy were some of my favorite. Throughout my time at Mercy, I was a varsity volleyball player. One interesting fact about me was that I wore a helmet while I played. Even through all the struggle, my senior year, we became state and national champions. I was able to become a full-time nanny to a family of three. Cadence, who's 12, Camden, who's 6, going on 7, and Connor, who's 4. I started in January of 2015 and have been with them ever since. If that wasn't enough, I started working as an assistant manager at Cycle Bar, which is a premium indoor spin class. When I'm not working, you can find me riding and attempting to keep up with the moves. Into my senior year approaching, I've started thinking a lot about what I want to do with my life. I'm a psychology major with plans of going to get a master's in social work with a focus on drug and alcohol counseling or going and getting a second degree in nursing and work as a psychiatric nurse. Hope you've enjoyed a learning a little bit about who I am. Now let's get the lowdown on Ebony. Travel back 21 years ago when greatness entered the world. I was a tiny, bald terror in the beginning, and the only thing that changed was the hair. I came into this world quick and fast and haven't slowed down since. I'm a military brat that was born in Leavenworth, Kansas. I went to and graduated from John Harden High School located in Elizabethtown, Kentucky in 2015. During my four years of high school, I played volleyball all year round. Though it was a dream and a passion to play volleyball in college, I was unable to after obliterating my right ACL on game six of senior year and then obliterating my left ACL three years later. Even though I don't play anymore, I love coaching my high school kiddos. Here recently I've started assisting at my old high school volleyball program with my dad as the head coach. My family are like my best friends. My dad Walter, mom Tina, older sister Amber, and younger brother Kenneth make up what we like to call Club H5. Needless to say, we're a tight-knit and one-of-a-kind family. As if coaching and school didn't keep me busy enough, I'm also the assistant manager at the T-Mobile located on Bardstown Road here in Louisville, Kentucky. I've been with the company for three and a half years, and you can always catch me taking pictures and making sure the energy levels are up and ready for anything. Thanks for taking a little bit of time to learn about me. Now let's hear from the final member of our team, Alexandra. 20 years ago, on April 21st, Alexandra Reifenberg was born in the great state of Colorado. She's lived all over the country, but she calls Ohio home. She lived there with her family for a long time, and most of the people close to her are still there. Her mother, Amanda, sister, Ariana, nephew, Nolan, and grandmother, Becky, are all waiting there, hoping and praying that one day she'll see sense and agree to make and live in a commune with them, her aunt Lynn, and best friend, Chloe. And no, I'm not kidding. In high school, she was part of the band and choir departments, but the small town didn't have much else to offer. She, she joined the Bellarmine University Gaming Club and is now the president. Students Beyond Barriers, a club she is vice president of, Bellarmine Orientation Team as a crew leader, and more. She worked on learning several languages during her time at Bellarmine, including Japanese, Russian, and American Sign Language. I hope you all enjoyed learning about Alexandra. So throughout the video, we learned that I can't dance. I'm injury prone. And Alex, she started or has been in every club here on Bellarmine's campus. We hope you enjoyed getting an inside look at our lives and a little bit about what we're looking forward to do in the future. We'll see you guys soon. Actually, we won't because this is the last video. Woohoo! <laughs> All right.